I want you to be really warm and welcoming to our first guest, the anthropologist, Mr. Stephen Jeltz. Ladies and gentlemen, anthropologist Stephen Jeltz. I was asked to uh, come and speak on uh, archaeology, actually, not anthropology. But if you don't care about it either, then you know, who cares if you pronounce it right, right? Thanks. <laughs> I have a PhD. What do you do again? No, that's right. Not have a PhD. <laughs> it's an action. I'm here to tell you that as an archaeologist, I'm really into quirky, kind of ugly chicks. <laughs> I know you're like, well, don't archaeologists like dinosaurs? And I'm like, no. I like quirky, ugly chicks. I don't think you heard me. I like quirky, ugly chicks. Yeah! Hooray! Let me tell you about, uh, some of my more randy experiences. Some quirky, ugly chicks. So you meet when you're an archaeologist. It's really women in khaki shorts, boots, socks that go up to their knees. <laughs> quirky and ugly, just the way I like them. I met one woman, she was very quirky. Um, whenever she was coming, she would make the same sound as the operation game. <laughs> and then she would yell, Oh, you hit the side! And the little plastic apples would fall out of her vagina. <laughs> that's just the day in the life of an archaeologist. <laughs> little plastic apples falling out of people's privates. That's what archaeology is all about. Archaeology is the study of things that fall out of genitals. <laughs> I have a PhD in it, do you? No, so don't argue with me. As an archaeologist, I also believe in aliens. Um, I think that's expected. I, uh, one time, I had a beer with a lizard man. He, uh, he appears to most people as a human, but since I was an archaeologist, he knew I was enlightened, and he showed me him, his true self, a lizard person. He blinked two sets of eyelids at me, vertical and horizontal, kind of like in the Men in Black movie, but this was real. <laughs> we were laughing and joking and having a great time when he looked at me and he said, You know, I like you, but I must tell you, my people are here to destroy your planet. And I said, Haha, too late! <laughs> and then we kissed and gay sexed it up. I'm an archaeologist. I also like lizard aliens. For sex. <laughs> You're not gonna see that on chasing mummies with that fucking phony walking around. Hey kids, let's go over to the pyramid and I'll teach you how to be an archaeologist. He doesn't know shit about archaeology. Do you know how many of his interns he's had sex with? Just two. I fucked 23. <laughs> Who's the real archaeologist now? It's me. <laughs> Hold on, it's getting hot in here. Hold on. As an archaeologist, you have to be prepared for it to be hot, even when it's raining out. A lot of archaeology is done in the desert. You might have seen Jurassic Park. That was a fiction. Dinosaurs aren't in the jungle. What the fuck are you talking about, Jurassic Park? Get your shit together. I'm sure you want me to keep talking about the lizard man, so I will. His penis, if you would call it that. <laughs> was forked, which was interesting. Cause I was like, I don't know where to put all of these penis tips. <laughs> and he just winked a vertical and horizontal knowing wink and turned me into a lizard man, same as him. Get it? <laughs> this hat is not as funny as I thought it was. <laughs> Uh, 
As an archaeologist, though, you have to be able to improvise. It's not about good science, it's about just making things up on the fly. You have to stick your hand in the dinosaur poop. They like that happened in Jurassic Park. That part was real. The rest was fiction. That was real. But I'm here to tell you today, if you're looking to be an archaeologist, I will be in the bathroom. After the show. Thank you.